sorry about that. The batteries have went out. <laughs> but um, but yeah, this um, antioxidant um, spray mist, Cynthia, is going to put a barrier on your face to keep the pollutants, you know, from penetrating into your pores. And that could be another issue as well. You could perhaps be having an allergic reaction to, you know, and then plus it could be hormones as well. And that's why when it comes down to hormones, um, so I can see the logic of the primrose. I can see the logic of that because it's also going to, you know, work with your, um, your hormones. Um, but there are so many things out there that you can try. And like here, in, one thing about, I have to say one thing about California, and I'm certain in other places as well, but you know, not only is, um, California, you know, that one of the entertainment meccas, but when it comes down to, um, you know, taking care of yourself and, you know, and stuff like that, I don't know, California is cold with it. Because when it comes down to, you know, like the IV drip, you know, I've been talking about IV drip for the past, what, two years? And it's like, you know, people still, you know, like, what, what is an IV drip? You know what I mean? But here it's commonplace. You know, alkaline lifestyle, that's everywhere, but here it's kind of, you know what I'm saying, people that live a, a, a holistic life, it's nothing, you know. And that's one thing, too, that I have to say about my girl Jackie, you know, and it's like, you know, she'll try some shit, too. Um, and, um, you know, I love her, you know what I mean? Um, and so, let me, let me, let me say this right, let me say this right quick, too, because, you know, I've been getting my fair share about am I going to, uh, you know, talk about the basketball wives of L.A. or am I going to talk about um, love and hip hop. The reason why I haven't spoken on those, you know, really in depth and really going in and stuff, because I don't come on here. It's not best. It's not good to say what it is that I do for a living, um, who I'm affiliated with. Those types of things, even something in my heart. I know everybody's seen the film. It was beautiful. But I cannot do those types of things because it's a lot of motherfuckers that don't like me. Okay, let's just be crystal clear about that. And I need to continue to keep working. You know what I mean? I need people to still call me and say, okay, well, Tina, we need you. We need your, you know, we need your writing skills or we need you to, your input on this and that and that. And, you know, so if I come on here on YouTube and be like, oh, well, you know, I was just with Whoop that Whoop and, yeah, and I was just doing this right here and, yeah, I'm working on such and such such a film and, yeah, I write for so-and-so, then therefore, automatically, you know, motherfuckers, you know, don't like to see you doing anything, you know, positive or less known progressive, you know what I mean, it's going to get you to a certain level. People don't like that. So then, therefore, I had to pipe down. That's one thing I have to say about Bay. He was like, Tina, do not show because you want to still, you want to still, you know, get called for what you do. So then, therefore, don't don't continue to keep, you know, saying certain things about certain things because then, therefore, you know, everybody don't want to be put on blast. Everybody don't this and that and that. But I say that to say this. I have not spoke on those because, for one. Um, I know of some of the people that, that are, that are affiliated with the shows, okay? Um, and Jackie for one, um, I was invited, I, um, invited to a party that Jackie had and it was there that I met Lyrica. And so, um, and so those, I, you know, I love them as women, you know what I mean? They're, they're sweet as pie. This is just simply what they do for a living. Okay, this is just what they do. What uh, people fail to realize is, and, and then too, in this genre, people tend to um, um, believe everything that they see on TV. They believe everything that they see on TV. It was on. If it was on TV, is real. Is real life. But uh, once again, it's TV. You understand? It's TV. And, you know, um, you can't believe a lot of the things that you see. And a lot of times, people are getting paid to follow a script. People are getting paid to act a certain way. People are getting paid for ratings. 
drama, those types of things. Okay? They get paid for that. And the more you act out, the more you're going to get fucking paid. Okay? Let's just be clear on that. Okay? So, with that being said, I have not spoke on something in my heart. I have not spoken on... Now, I saw the uh, the reunion on um, Sunday. It was good. All that. Um, so, I haven't spoke on that. Nor have I spoken on um, uh, Love and Hip Hop. But I will say that Ray J and them, they did get married, which everybody knew that. But the day of the wedding, I came on Facebook and told you guys, Ray J is getting married tonight. And people was like, huh? He getting married? Him and Princess Love? Yeah. I said that a long time ago. I said that, you know, months back. You know, this was already, this was already, already. But it's not my place. You understand what I'm saying? It's not my place. And then also, you can't talk about certain things until things are out. If you talk about things be, while things are in the editing process, while things are simply an idea, while things are undergoing, you cannot discuss that because there are clauses. You can get in major trouble if you start talking about the, 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 the production company can sue your ass for, you know, speaking on things that you should not be speaking on. So I have to also say when it comes down to Bay, he is... You know, he does kind of keep me like, okay, Tina, you can't talk about this. Don't talk about this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. In a loving way, but, you know, I understand, and I get it. I get it. At first, I was like, because y'all know for a while, I come on this motherfucker and say whatever. Didn't give a shit about whatever, whatever, whatever. But I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the perks of it all. I enjoy um, my contribution, shall I say. And it allows me to still live a real cool, comfortable life, still work on my own schedule. You know what I mean? Work from home and, you know, but to still be able to travel and go and see and do and get invited to some of the coolest things. You know, I love that. So if I need to shut this up. I need to shut this up. Okay? I need to shut this up. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> Tanya Rainey. I love you, Tanya. Tanya got her new little car, too. She got a badass bay, too. I ain't mad at you, mama. Yeah. Um, straight out of Miami. Yeah. T. Nichelle. T. Chanel. Yeah. Yeah, but Tanya. But, yeah, so Tanya mentioned me, mentioned you in a comment. But, yeah, that's one of my girls. I love her. And plus, she just got her new little Jeep, too, girl. I am not mad at you. I seen your little Jeep and shit. You was like, I got me a little Jeep. I'm just loving it. Shout out to Pilar. Um, Pilar is just um, so beautiful. Straight out of Atlanta. Just bad as a motherfucker. I mean, you know, man, listen. Wow. I'm, I'm just, you know, when I, I have to say this. When I was younger, you know, and um, I didn't know what 40s my 40s were going to be. You know, because I was going through so many different things. I didn't know, you know, and, and growing up, when you looked at 40s, 40s was like old. Like, oh my God, I'm going to be old. Listen to me. When I tell you some of the coldest chicks I know are my age and older than me, you would never know that, but they bad to the bone. Bad as hell. Bad to the bone. Bad. Okay? There are some women that have let themselves go, but some of us have not. Okay? There are some based on circumstances, a lot of stressors, you know, and abusive relationships. So many different things have just made a lot of women hearts harden and getting fixed up and dialed up is just not where they at. Look, I got to get to this motherfucking job. I got to take care of this motherfucking business right now. I ain't on what y'all on. I can't afford all that shit. And this is what this is what it is. You know, I can understand that. I can understand that, and I can I can respect that. Um, but I tell you what, when I was growing up and I was thinking forty something, I was like, oh my god. You know, what am I going to look like, you know? And then you hear um, women in their 20s or something, they'll say 40 is, oh, oh, she's an old bitch. She 40, whoop, that whoop, years old. 40, this, 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 this. Man, listen to me. 
40s was the best thing. This is my best decade. I'm going to tell you that right now. 40s is my best decade. I'm having the best sex ever. I'm the healthiest I've ever been in my life. I'm financially stable. Um, I own my own shit. And I ain't asking nobody for nothing. I don't have to be told where I can, where I can't, who I can, who I can't. You can't tell me none of that shit. You know, it's almost like you paid the cost to be the boss. I'm the boss. I'm the boss. So when you see this, you see me. All this right here is all me. All this shit is me, baby. But I went in my 30s. You know what I'm saying? In my 20s. You know? But now in my 40s, baby, I'm living the best. Man, listen. And I'm among some of the coldest that you, man, look. You know what I mean? Cold. Bad. So, I haven't spoke on those things because motherfuckers are haters. Oh, you know such and such on YouTube. Oh, that bitch whoop that whoop that whoop whoop whoop. And go over there. They talking about her over here and go to the. I ain't doing it. You understand what I'm saying? I had that little bullshit going on when I first got on YouTube. And motherfuckers would go and tell Kane, oh, but well, Tina over here is doing this. Or they'd go and go tell Kiana, oh, Tina over here doing this. Or they'd go over there and tell Jody, oh, Tina this, 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 this. Or they'll get on their shit. You know, oh, well, you just mad because Tina doing this right here. Like, I mean, just childish shit. I had to grow up and grow out of those things. That's the reason why I go and come. I come on here and I say some cool shit, do some shit. You know, show my little hauls and shit like that. And I keep it pushing. Because otherwise, it's too much bullshit. And then, too, you know, women be trying to figure out who you dating, who you seeing, or try to get on on the niggas that you used to date. Nah. So from here on out, my personal life is my own. Okay, my personal life is my own. I did um, post a picture of my daughter the other day, and thank you guys for that as well. My daughter got her own Instagram. My daughter got her own Snapchat. I ain't got no Snapchat, but my baby and them, they got their own shit, okay? But the other night when me and um, Tioni was driving, and she said something, and just it was like, wow, it was just nostalgic because, excuse me, my daughter's 17 years old, and yeah, she's 17. 17. Can you believe it? Yeah. So she's 17 and she's just the epitome of me. <clears throat> Excuse me. The soda got me kind of tripping. But the epitome of me. I was the same size at her age. Um, looked the same to a degree, though my daughter is much lighter than me. But um, her mannerisms and different things about her um, the things that she's gone through, you know, different things were just so parallel to some of the things that I, you know, at her age, you know, was doing. Going to the same school. She goes to the same school I was going to at 17. She worked at the same, she works at the same place that I worked at 17. My mama had me at 28. I had Tioni at 28. When, T when I was 17, my mom was 45. And my mom, my mom had got her uh, hysterectomy at 45, and she also had got her thyroid, um, her gorda removed um, um, at 45. And it's like, our lives just parallel so tough. And I love my, oh my God, I love my kids more than me. And when it comes down to this internet thing, you know, people, you know, it's a lot of miserable people behind these keyboards. You know what I mean? It's a lot, a lot, a lot of miserable people. And it's so unfortunate. You cannot come on here and be jovial, happy. People going to read into your shit. Oh, well, you know, she whooped that whoop, whoop, whoop. Uh, she this, that, and other. And this, this, this. Let me figure out who she fucking with. Let me figure out who she affiliated with. Who her friends are. Who she hang with. Get out of my business. Please. Get up out of my business. You know, because that's just being just way too intrusive, you know, too intrusive. I had to, you know, um, during the summertime when I was at my little jazz festival, my young lady said, oh, well, watch how you walking because they're going to have you on whoop-de-whoop. -whoop. 
I don't give a fuck about that. Keep bringing that traffic over here, please. Thank you. Because on the times that I don't post, I, I still get a lot of traffic because people are still talking about me in other things. As long as you're getting talked about, traffic coming. People still coming. You understand what I'm saying? Because who they talking about? What they say? Who is that? Who? What? She didn't say? Let me go over there and go to... And as soon as they... Excuse me, as soon as they come one or two times to get a bar or two of it, then they like, oh, okay, well, she kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Let me click on the next video and see what she talking about. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it works hand in hand. I have to accept that, you know, but also respect the fact that, you know, I want to continue to do what I do. I want to continue to support my children, support my home, you know, carry my own weight, you know, and I also want to keep, my name with some respect on it. You know what I mean? And so I can't put it all out there like that. Just go see the shit. How about that? Go see the films. Check out everything. You know what I mean? But all the background of it all, ain't nobody business but who I signed that contract with. Let's just keep that right there and we're going to keep it pushing on uh, what Cynthia come talking about this morning about how, you know, um, this young lady was saying that, um, you know, um, she's attracts a lot of men that are users and what is that ladies let me say this the more shit you have you do have to be cognizant about perhaps meeting somebody that would like to ride on your shit and if you do certain things you have to also worry about motherfuckers trying to get on you know what i mean Oh, you got some passes or such and such? Oh, well, shit, baby, I love you. You know what I'm saying? You got to watch out for all that kind of shit. You know, when you have certain things, you know, um, sometimes people gravitate to you because of the things that you have. You have to be cognizant about that shit, too. You know, so sometimes um, having things cancel you out because... A lot of times, chicks don't like you. Like Cynthia was saying this morning, she was like, I don't really have very many friends. You know, um, you know, it's just me. And I'm the same way, Cynthia. I'm the same way. I know a lot of women and stuff like that, but we're all kind of, you know, everybody kind of taking care of their own business. Now, when we come together or whatever, we all done got invited to something. We all sitting up in there and everybody is all chilling. Now, we all cool. We still got mad cool, mad respect for each each other. But it's it, right now, it's a crab in a barrel type of syndrome that continues to flow. And also, it's a lot of women out here that be willing to take what you have. Want to fuck your man. Trying to all kind. It's, man, it's crazy shit goes on. Okay? So I'm okay that I live out here in the IE. I'm okay. Oh, that I go and see and do as I shall please to do. I'm happy that Bay said, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, babe. Shut your mouth. Now, you can live all this. You can do all this, but kind of cut it down a little bit. Kim Kardashian changed up the game on that shit. I have to say, that when that burglary, that robbery shit, that was crazy. And I think a lot of people kind of took notice like, wow. You know, this social media, because it, it, it's so many people that are jealous. It's so many people that um, are envious, you know. And that green-eyed devil ain't no joke. It ain't nothing you could really do, really. Because once you put your shit out there, it goes everywhere. People grab they People pull from your conversations what they want to pull from them. You know what I'm saying? You could say a whole bunch of shit, but it's just one little sentence that you said. That's what they gravitating to. Oh, but did you see the way she said that? Oh, I knew that bitch was this right here. Oh, girl, did you see that? Oh, girl, I knew. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just crazy. You know, you're critiqued like nobody's business. It's crazy. So when we all get around each other and we're talking about the projects, you know, the projects that, you know, are coming out or the projects out and things of that nature. When we're talking about those types of things, we love each other. We have a mutual respect. We are our sister's keeper. But, you know, shit is so crazy, you kind of reluctant a little bit. You kind of like, you know, I don't know if I should go all the way in because it makes you wonder, you know, is this motherfucker really with me because of my name or because of what I do or is they trying to get on, trying to get the hook up? I mean, what, what? You know what I mean? And so it's, it's a filtering process that's cold. And unfortunately, 
You know, there are so many women by themselves that men, man, they showing out with that shit. Men are showing the fuck out with it. You know what I mean? They completely taking advantage. You know, there's so many women are out here getting straight taken advantage of, you know. And it's, it's, just, it's just bad, man. It's bad. You know, like I said, uh, maybe a couple years ago, you have to wonder. A lot of times, people don't want, they're not looking for love. They want some help. You know what I'm saying? They want some motherfucking help. And and, and just like uh, somebody had sent me a thing, and so she was saying, um, hobosexual. And she was saying a lot of men just getting up with women because they don't want to be homeless. It's a lot of shit going on, man. It's so much shit going on. Oh, my God. God, it's so much going on. And nobody's exempt. I'm not exempt from the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Even some of the baddest bitches I know. Ain't none of us exempt from this bullshit. Ain't exempt at all. Ain't exempt. Okay? Not exempt from the foolishness. Because, but what it does is, it does put you in a different category. You know what I'm saying? When you look a certain way, you know, it puts you in a different level. When you, when you have certain things, it puts you in a certain level. You know what I'm saying? When you're communicable, funny, and all that kind of stuff, it puts you in a different level. She got a badass car. Put you in a different level. She owned her own home. Put her, you in a certain level. You know, so see, people can say, oh, there's a 10 to 1 ratio and there's a this and that ratio. Well, some people ain't in no ratio. Some people are not. You know what I mean? Some people are not in that ratio. Based on, uh, if they in the ratio, they, they in a uh, uh, 10 percent percentile that... You know what I'm saying? They can give away just as much pussy as some of these niggas can get. Okay? I mean, that's just the reality of it all. You know? So it's like, you know, it's just a matter of being marketable. <laughs> it's, uh, it's sad and unfortunate, but man, you got to be in shape. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to know who you are. Before you get in shape, because if you don't know who you are while you're going through the struggle, while you're going through it, you're going to show the fuck out. You're going to be having all kind of pussy parties and shit when you finally get to a point where, you know, damn, I can look down and see this motherfucker. You lose it. Lose it, lose it, lose it. And I'm so thankful that it took me over 20 years to get to this. You know what I'm saying? I didn't just show up like, oh, my God, I got the gastric bypass two years ago. And now checking me out. Look, Oh, look at me now. Oh, my God, I'm this right here. But, no, it took me 20 years to get here. 